The SSG-10, along with other VSR-10s, are fantastic sniper rifles out of the box. But they're not quite perfect out of the box, and there's a few modifications you can do quite quickly and easily to get every inch of performance out of them. In this case, we're going to be focusing on the piston and its weight. But why would you want to increase the weight of your piston? Well, if you increase the weight of your piston, then it will travel slower down the cylinder. This slower travel time allows more time for all of that compressed air energy to be transferred into the BB, making it more efficient and also ensures that all of the energy which you're creating in the cylinder is getting transferred into the BB. This allows you to use heavier weight BBs more effectively and also reduces the sound of your rifle. If you've got a lighter weight piston, it will travel faster and it will hit the end of the cylinder much more quickly, which then makes a louder sound. With a heavier piston, because it travels slower, this sound is reduced. So you can use heavier weight BBs more effectively and your sniper rifle is also quieter. How many more positives do you need? There are some fantastic options out there when it comes to buying a weighted piston, but the price tag can be quite high. And that's why we at Project Airsoft have come out with this. This is a roll of piston weight tape. Specifically, we've created this option to be perfectly compatible with the SSG-10 stock piston. However, it will work with other pistons out there on the market. But how do you install it? Well, let's take a look. So we have got our Novrich SSG-10A1 here. If you have a different model of the Novrich rifle, then it may be a tiny bit different in terms of screw placement, but ultimately every Everything else is going to be the same. So first of all, we're going to flip it upside down and we're going to remove our magazine. Then we're going to want to remove this screw and this screw and this screw here. Once those screws are removed, you should be able to lift the stock right off the upper receiver. Now the screws are all still in place. So if they are like that in yours, make sure you keep them there because you don't want to lose any of them. Now we've got the upper receiver out of the stock. We want to remove the trigger unit because there's a little bit of metal up there going into the cylinder, which stops it from coming out. And in order to do this, we have one screw here and one screw there. There. And with the trigger unit removed just like so, our cylinder should now just... We can now put the upper receiver to the side. And again, with the trigger unit, make sure those screws don't go anywhere because we are gonna need them later. With the cylinder out, we wanna remove the nozzle here. And to do that quite easily, I like to take one of my hex bits, poke it into one of those holes, hold them together, and then twist it off. You wanna go slowly when you do this because when this unscrews completely, you are gonna have pressure from the spring and the piston inside, which are gonna wanna spring out a little bit. And now we can remove our piston. The spring and the spring guide can stay inside the cylinder. And we just wanna put that to the side for now with all of the other parts. So now we have our piston, it's time to apply some weight tape. And to do this, we want to start unpeeling our weight tape here. We want to stick one end onto the piston right at that lip and we're going to spin it around the piston. And because of the diameter of the Novrich piston, we can actually get two full wraps around it with the weight tape. So that there is one full wrap and then this here is the second Wrap. Now you'll be able to see where the weight tape overlaps itself by looking at the edge of where you've wrapped it on and you want to cut it right at the seam. Because the metal's really soft you can do it with a standard pair of scissors. With the weight tape then cut off we just want to finish wrapping it round and sticking that side down onto itself. To make sure it's a nice and smooth transition we will take a hammer and give it a few taps just to make sure it is nice and flat. And that's our first band of weight tape on. Now it's just the case of rinsing and repeating until the whole shaft of the piston is covered. When done correctly, you'll find that you'll get four strips of the weight tape perfectly in between these two ridges from the top and the bottom of the piston. But we still can get two extra pieces on there. And to do that, you cut down some of your weight tape into smaller, thinner strips like this. Again, you would measure them out in the exact same way that you did with the other pieces of weight tape and then apply them. Although with these ones, you can only do a single layer because the ridge that these are going on is already coming out a little bit further than where the other pieces of weight tape are already attached. That's the first one on, and that's the second. Now this is looking absolutely perfect. This is exactly what we want to see when we look at the piston with weight tape on, but there's one thing else which we want to do. Just to make sure that all of the weight tape stays in place and it doesn't shift at all during use, we're gonna take a little bit of electric tape here. I'm gonna tear off a fresh end for it, and then I'm gonna wrap this around the weight tape as it is on the piston. So the tape, I'm gonna start off here at this end and do it nice and tight all the way around the weight tape like so. And as soon as I get that first overlap, I'm then going to start it going down the shaft of the piston. So I'm gonna angle the tape down very, very slightly just so I get a nice tight coiling effect of the tape on the piston. I don't want the tape to overlap each other too much because that's gonna add extra thickness which we don't really want on the piston. And I'm just gonna continue down the rest of the shaft, again adding tension with the tape 
onto the piston. Then when I get right to the end, like I am here, I'm just gonna even it out and do a flat round circle on the piston, just like I did at the top when starting. And when I get to the point where it is fully overlapped, I'm gonna pull it tight, tear off the end, and then push that flat like so. Once you've done that, this is what your piston should look like, and it'll be easy to see if you may have any little bulging areas from the weight tape on there. So I can see here, this bit is a little bit more raised up than I would like it to be. Get my hammer and give it a couple of love taps. And just like that, that slightly raised area is now smooth as a baby's bum. And that is the piston done. So I'm now going to get my cylinder back, pop the piston on top of the spring like so, get my cylinder head, put that into place, grab my upper receiver and put the cylinder in place like so. Then I'll grab my trigger unit with the screws in place and put that in, tighten up those screws. At this point, we can do a quick test just to make sure everything is working. Make sure there's no BBs in there and also fire in a safe direction just to be doubly sure. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Then we flip our upper receiver upside down and take our stock again with screw still in place, line up the trigger and then lower that down onto the upper receiver. With that in place, it's just time to do up the screws. And just like that, you've now got a heavyweight piston inside your SSG10 or VSR if you're using a standard version. And you're able to utilize all of the benefits of a heavyweight piston, including better performance with heavyweight BBs. And of course, it's now quieter. The main reason about using the weight tape over the pre-existing heavyweight solutions is that this is a lot cheaper, almost 10 times in some cases. For a minimal cost, you can get all of the benefits of a heavyweight piston. And in future, if you want a bit more versatility or you want a heavier weight from your piston, then you can try out one of the fancier options. But as you saw in this video, this is super quick and easy to do. It will take less than 10 minutes to install the weight tape and we dispatch these next day delivery. So if you want it really quick for a skirmish, we got you covered. If you're interested in picking up some of our SSG10 slash VSR10 piston weight tape, go and check it out on the website with the link in the description. This will of course work on other pistons out there as well, not just for the VSR. As always, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe for more product updates from us here at Project Airsoft and make sure you follow all of our social channels too, at project underscore airsoft on Instagram and just Project Airsoft on Facebook. Once again, thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.